We're in difficult times right now. We're in difficult times right now. Things are falling apart. I mean, we're watching as a global pandemic has infected the in, entire world, has affected the entire world, and we're watching in our own country cities burn. This is scary stuff. Like, I was jokingly saying to my, my daughter, this is like pre-apocalyptic experience. We've got to like seriously begin to look at ourselves. We've got to begin to look at the world around us. We've got to begin to look at situations for what they are and begin to say to ourselves, okay, I've got to do something. I've got to think about this. I've got to ponder this. I've got to develop some real wisdom on how to address and how to approach this. You got, Guys, these things are not okay. There is an immense amount of discomfort when it comes to situations like this. Justice. Social justice. Man, there's so many biases out there. It is uncomfortable to even talk about. Like, there are things that have happened people should not get away with. It is not okay. People have lost their lives. Human beings with a heartbeat and the same blood that pulses through your body are no longer here be for reasons that weren't necessary. Galatians 5, 13, 14 talk about freedom True freedom is freedom from self-indulgence. 14 talks about loving others as you love yourself, like like loving others as you're taking care of yourself, like responding to others' needs. In situations like this, we, we find ourselves torn because we feel like we're gonna take a side. And I'm taking a side, and I'm taking a side. You know, I'm taking a side on the fact that we're a whole mess. I'm taking a side on the fact of Christ. I'm taking a side on the fact that Jesus loves us and wants us to be free of this. I'm taking a side on the fact that he is the only answer. That's the side I'm taking. That's the side I'm taking. Excessive force is not okay. People have died. It's not okay. Buildings are burning. It's not okay. I'm not comfortable with this. I'm not okay with this. And neither is God. You want to talk about anger? God is angry. God is angry and he's fairly angry because he is a God of the universe and he is perfect in who he is and all he does. The Bible doesn't tell us not to be angry. It tells us when we're angry not to sin. You got a reason to be angry. I've got a reason to be angry. This, like, I know I keep saying this, but this is not okay. This is not okay. This is not okay. This is not okay. We have got to lift up. We've got to, we've got to step back. We've got to realize that... <laughs> saying this to my daughter last night whether or not we recognize it there is prejudice that exists within every single one of us some of us are bent more towards certain prejudice than others and yes our country has been negatively affected by those prejudice and we need to realize we need to realize we need to realize what those prejudice are begin to deal with them as a human being, as a nation, as a group of people. There's no comfortable way to approach this, but there's privilege. There's privilege in this world. Hmm. And, and we've got to deal with it. It's not going to be undone. You, you know, just and that's, it's not going to be undone in just a couple of days. It's not something that's just going to be snapped and, and be over with. Guys, we have years and years and years of issues to deal with. But I'll hold back to this, man. Systems, understandings, like like um, putting, developing um, you know, structures in government, developing um, better mindsets and better frames of thought and better interactions and all that stuff. Those things are good, but I will remain focused on the fact that I am on the side of Jesus. I am on the side of Jesus. And Jesus finds every single human life with value. Jesus considers every single human life as special. And as Galatians tells us, man, we gotta love others. We gotta love people. We gotta step out there and love others, even when it's challenging and difficult. And and and, and yeah. And you know what affects the way we love others? Social media clickbait. You know what affects the way we love others? Negative um, pictures with 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 words on them, memes. You know, you wanna. You want to talk about what affects love is listening to the chatter within that has been you've been inundated with these things these these untrue realities that 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 oh God help me I don't know how to phrase this but God has richly blessed the world with such beautiful diversity celebrate it love it love others as Jesus loved.